In the previous video, we spent a few days in Kanazawa and also visited the UNESCO World Heritage Site of Shirakawago. Now, we've taken the Shinkansen from Kanazawa to Nagano to continue the journey. We will be visiting the Snow Monkey Park and also Togakushi Shrine. But first, let's get checked into our hotel. This time, we're staying right beside the Nagano Station in the Metropolitan Hotel. It is directly connected to the station, so it offers a lot of convenience. On top of that, both of the buses for the places we are going to depart from Nagano Station. First, we're going to go check out Zenkoji Temple, which is an iconic site in Nagano. We are taking the subway system, which is called Nagaden, or short for Nagano Dentetsu, which means the subway for Nagano. Once we got to the closest station though, I noticed there was no elevator or escalator. And I also brought a stroller, which is a big mistake. But anyway, I managed to carry it up and the temple was just a short walk away. It was very rainy at the time though, so we decided to head back to Nagano Station to take a look around and we'll check out the temple later. And more pink strawberries. I also managed to find a new pair of shoes since mine were already soaked. And in the evening, we were out again to Zenkoji Temple, but this time with a baby carrier instead. It was Nagano Design Week, which meant that Zenkoji had a really beautiful nighttime light up display. You can only catch this once a year, and I actually didn't know about it until after I booked the trip, so again, I was very lucky there. We woke up early the next morning to go to the Nagaden ticketing counter to get our snow monkey pass. The details on how to get this pass can be found on my blog post for your reference. And now we are making our way to the east side of Nagano station where the bus stops are and we will be departing from bus stop number 23. The first bus that goes to the snow monkey park is 8.50 in the morning, but as you can see, there are already quite a lot of people lining up for it. This express bus takes you to the snow monkey park in about 15 minutes. While there is a snow monkey train option, that train actually doesn't take you to the snow monkey park. You still have to get off and transfer to a bus. So this express bus is actually the most direct, convenient, and quickest way to get to the snow monkey park. The point where the bus drops you off is kind of like a visitor center. From there, you will walk along the paved road for about 10 minutes and then it will take you to the lower entrance of the Snow Monkey Park. From there, it's another 30 minute walk or about 1.6 kilometers through the woods. Since it is muddy and snowy, I would definitely recommend wearing boots in winter. When you see the stream and bridge, you know you're almost there, but you still need to climb up a flight of stairs. Once you get to the top, that is the actual entrance to the Snow Monkey Park. At first, you will see a valley and a little stream and monkeys here and there. However, just keep continuing forward. That's where the actual onsen and where all the monkeys are. 
but you can still hang around here. The monkeys are quite friendly, they're not scary at all, um, but just don't get too close or don't show any of your food or plastic bags. Back at Nagano Station, I head to the Alpico bus ticketing office to buy my tickets to go to Togakushi the next day. There are vending machines that display in English for you to buy your tickets or you can get the staff to help you. You'll want to get your tickets from Nagano Station to Togakushi's Chusha, which is the middle temple. Again, we woke up bright and early and took the earliest 7 a.m. bus departing from Nagano Station. This is a local bus that goes through Nagano City and a little road through the mountains to get to Togakushi. The ride is just a little bit over an hour. This is our hike for the day, and starting at the bottom of the map, this is where we are, which is Chusha. From there, we will take a 40 minute walk along the road up north, and then take a left at the entrance to the upper shrine of Okusha. From there, it's another 20 minute walk to get to the sacred trees and the red gate.
We finally come to an end of our trip and now we are taking the Shinkansen from Nagano back to Tokyo.